like any family, there can be differences of opinion. But however strongly they're expressed, they are held within the common bond of friendship and shared experiences. Here at home, my own family is a little larger this Christmas. As so many of you will know, the arrival of a baby gives everyone the chance to contemplate the future with renewed happiness and hope. For the new parents, life will never be quite the same again. As with all who are christened, George was baptized into a joyful faith of Christian duty and service. One, two, three. Really nice. Okay, so here we go. After the christening, we gathered for the traditional photograph. Okay, I drop. Sorry, kids. One, two, three. Straight to me. George. Good boy. Okay, straight to the lens. One, two, three. Really nice. It was a happy occasion, bringing together four generations. In the year ahead, I hope you will have time to pause for moments of quiet reflection. As the man in the plaster cast discovered, the results can sometimes be surprising. For Christians, as for all people of faith, reflection, meditation and prayer help us to renew ourselves in God's love as we strive daily to become better people. The Christmas message shows us that this love is for everyone. There is no one beyond its reach. On the first Christmas, in the fields above Bethlehem, as they sat in the cold of night watching their resting sheep, the local shepherds must have had no shortage of time for reflection. Suddenly, all this was to change. These humble shepherds were the first to hear and ponder the wondrous news of the birth of Christ, the first Noel, the joy of which we celebrate today. I wish you all a very happy Christmas.